According to the National Institute of Occupational Safety and Health, NIOSH, workers exposed to extreme cold or working in cold environments may be at risk of cold stress. Severe cold weather is a dangerous situation that can bring on health emergencies for workers without adequate shelter, workers who are continuously or often outdoors, and those who work in an area that is poorly insulated or without heat. In regions relatively unaccustomed to winter weather, near-freezing temperatures are considered factors that can bring on the symptoms of cold stress. Whenever temperatures drop decidedly below average, and as wind speed increases, heat can more rapidly leave your body. Cold stress is the condition that occurs when the body can no longer maintain its normal temperature. When left untreated, cold stress can result in injuries, leading to permanent damage, or even death. Several serious cold-related illnesses may occur when exposed to cold temperatures without proper clothing or PPE. Common cold stress injuries include trench foot, hypothermia, and frostbite. Cold stress, risk factors. In a cold environment, most of the body's energy is focused on maintaining the body's internal core temperature at a safe level. When the body is exposed to cold temperatures for a long period of time, the body will begin to pull blood flow from the extremities, hands, feet, arms, and legs, to the core, chest, and abdomen. This allows the skin and the extremities to cool and increases the risk of frostbite and hypothermia. Cool temperatures and a wet environment, such as fall and winter in western Washington, are a recipe for hypothermia and trench foot. According to the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, OSHA, some of the risk factors that contribute to cold stress are wetness, dampness in the work environment, dressing improperly, exhaustion, predisposing health conditions such as hypertension, hypothyroidism, and diabetes, poor physical conditioning. Types of cold-related injuries, one, trench foot, is an injury of the feet resulting from prolonged exposure to wet and cold conditions. Trench foot can occur at temperatures as high as 60 degrees Fahrenheit if the feet are constantly wet. Wet feet lose heat 25 times faster than dry feet. The body constricts blood vessels to prevent heat loss to shut down foot circulation. Skin tissue begins to die due to a lack of oxygen and nutrients and the buildup of toxic products. 2. Hypothermia. This means that your core temperature has dropped. When exposed to cold temperatures, your body begins to lose heat faster than it can be produced. Prolonged exposure to cold will eventually use up your body's stored energy. The result is hypothermia or abnormally low body temperature. A body temperature that is too low affects the brain, making the victim unable to think clearly or move well. First aid for hypothermia. Alert a supervisor and get medical help on the way. Move the victim into a warm area. Warm the center of their body first, neck, head, and groin using an electric blanket, if available, or use skin-to-skin -skin contact under loose, dry layers of blankets, clothing, towels, or sheets. These items should be available in a wintertime first aid kit. If the victim is not breathing, begin CPR until the emergency responders arrive. 3. Frostbite. Frostbite is when an area of your body gets so cold that it loses circulation. The most common places to be affected by frostbite are the ears, chin, cheeks, fingertips, toes, and nose, though frostbite can occur anywhere on the body. Due to wind chill, frostbite can still occur at temperatures above freezing. Cold stress controls. Cold-related illnesses and injuries are dangerous and potentially life-threatening. However, they can be prevented. Prevention methods can include 1. Eliminate or limit work as much as possible when frigid temperatures are present. 2. Allow for acclimatization to cold environments or weather. If the weather is extremely cold for the area or time of year, you will not yet be used to it and are more susceptible to a cold-related illness. 3. Layer up on clothing and keep clothes dry. Removing wet clothing or boots and putting on dry items when working in a cold environment is essential. 4. Take breaks in warm areas or vehicles as needed. 5. Drink warm beverages to help warm up your core temperature. 6. Monitor the condition of other workers around you. If you notice something could be wrong, get them into a warm area and notify a supervisor.